guys, welcome to my channel. If you've never been here before, welcome. I hope you stay a long time and hit the subscribe button. But if you don't like what you see on my channel, then no pressure, you don't need to hit the subscribe button. I still need to do the like how I am as a subscriber tag. Like how, how what does it take for you to hit a subscribe button? It's uh, it, it doesn't it doesn't take much. You just have to be cool and relatable, you know? That's it for me. Today, I am so freaking hungover. I went to see, um, what's that movie? I just went and saw it last night. The hustle with uh, Rebel Wilson and Anne Hathaway, like it started off good and then it just like really sucked. It was like on, on this like funny path and then just like went way over here and you have no idea what you're watching. Let's get into this video before I talk your ear off for 17 hours. PR boxes have been piling the F up around here. So there have been a lot of new products by influencers that have come out. This one from Kristen Dominique, this collection from Shayla and ColourPop, Manny's Highlight. Then there was this new pure um, four in one love your selfie longwear foundation and concealer foundation that I wanted to try. So I thought I would put it all together in one video. This is basically mostly going to be focused on the new products from influencers who own their own brands slash did a collaboration. For starters, I've never used this. This is from the new Smashbox um, Hood Witch collection. I don't really understand what a hood witch is. Like I really, I just don't know. Like I live under a rock people. So I'm gonna try this out. This looks really pretty. The packaging for the rest of this collection was really beautiful too. But this is the Photo Finish Crystallized Primerizer. So this is a primer and a moisturizer in one. Oh wow, that's really quite watery. It's really pretty though. It's like an orange golden luminescent. So I'm just gonna, oh wow. Ooh, this is pretty. Oh, I like that. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's like a really nice, um, it's got flecks of like definitely like a golden orange kind of look to it. That is really pretty. I like it a lot. I like you a lot. I like my primers to kind of like fill in nooks and crannies and pores and stuff like that. And this, I can see it's accentuating my pores right here. I'm sure you can see that as well. I feel like you could see that from the freaking moon. I feel like this maybe I would use just in certain spots like here. I'm gonna need a more spackly primer. Hold please. Where is, there it is. Okay, no need to get upset, it's right here. Chill, chill out. <laughs> this is the uh, Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I'm gonna talk about this real quick because I'm gonna put some of this underneath my foundation right now because I just wanna play with this. I wanna see how it works, how I like to use it. This is from Kristen Dominique and her company uh, is called Dominique Cosmetics. This is Prisma Glow. The packaging is like really, really cool. And you open it up and you've got four shades here. This is a cream um, and then you have a really deep golden and then you've got this one which is like a pinkish little pinky orange flex in it and then this one looks to be a bit more chunky and it's like a pinkish frost. I'm gonna go ahead and take the cream and put this on. Ooh, ooh, okay, that's really pretty. Shit, I might even put that on top of my foundation too. That'll be the thing. Let's see if it disturbs the foundation because that is like my number one fear when it comes to cream products and laying them on top of my foundation. I like the consistency. It's almost like, it's like, I don't know. That was like, not helpful at all, but you know. I am hungover, so maybe half of what I'm saying today is not going to make sense. So bear with me, okay, thanks. <laughs> I drop things like nobody's business. Gosh, I should never have kids. I forgot that we were using the <laughs> pure four-in-one Love Your Selfie Longwear Foundation and Concealer. There was really no um, information in this booklet that came with this to tell me why it is foundation and, conce foundation and concealer in one. Is it just that good of coverage or I, I don't know. I am going to use this as concealer first and foremost for the eye area and see how we feel about it. So this foundation is $36, but not if you use my code. I have a code for free shipping and 20% off. Looks 
nice. I usually like my concealers to have a bit more coverage. I would have liked it to cover that darker area right there. So I'm gonna go in with Urban Decay Color Correcting Fluid in Peach. Try and cancel out those darker spots. I'm not gonna powder my eyes because I just wanna see how this how this goes on over top. So here is the Shayla X Color Pop collection. So this is obviously like construction themed, which is really cute. I loved her photo shoot. I thought she looked amazing. I loved all the styling and then the bright contrasty colors. The packaging is really cute. This palette is only $12. So this is what it looks like. And then you pop that open and it stays on theme with the you know, kind of darker shades and then the pops of like the yellows and the golds and stuff. So $12 is a great price for this. Um, I'm excited to see how this plays over top of the concealer. I'm gonna start off by taking culture. Does that say culture? Yeah, culture. So I'm gonna take this and I'm just going to use this as kind of like the smoke out shade. This is going over the concealer really well and blending out really nicely. So that's good. Then I'm gonna go in with Maintenance right here, which is kind of a dark red maroon kind of shade. I'm using this um, Nikki Tutorials look right here as inspiration for this look as well. So um, just using some different colors and obviously it's not gonna look exactly like that, but mostly because I'm real hungover. So I think I wanna go in with Hazard right here and just start building that up as like the darker shade. I'm gonna use Urban Decay's Demolition. She did like a little wing with this. Okay, that doesn't have to be perfect because I'm pretty much just gonna smudge it out now. Going back in with our darker shade Maintenance and just kind of like meeting that to this because I was gonna do a little more smoked out with this shade in the crease and whatnot, but I think I just like it how it is. So I'm gonna go in with Warning right here, which is the flakier kind of really pretty orangey shade. Okay, so it's a really pretty shade. It's just not super great for like kind of cutting like this because little flecks of the glitter are kind of like going all over the place, but I kind of, I kind of knew what I was getting into there. I just wanted to see what it would do anyway. So like when I'm trying to make a little harsher line, some of the glitter is kind of seeping upwards. One thing I'm gonna try is loading some of this onto my brush and then using a setting spray to wet it a little bit and then see if it'll stay where I put it. I feel like I'm like slowly turning into a glammed Cleopatra over here without even realizing it. Okay, so that shade is really pretty, but I wouldn't use it like that again. I think I would keep that pretty much on the lid. Um, it is really pretty, but I don't really like how it looks or what it's doing right now, but that's completely my fault, not the palette's fault or the shade's fault. So moving on, this is really light packaging, which I like because it looks like it's glass, but it's not. It's like a plastic. Um, and I really like that because for traveling, it's, yeah, that's great. Um, it's gluten-free, cruelty-free, blue light defense, anti-pollution, blue zone, and vegan friendly. This is where the concealer part comes in, I guess. So this is a little concealer doe foot. It's not, the consistency is kind of nice. Like if you can see it right there, it's like almost like a little whipped, but it's not, it's not like super watery, which I like. A little of this goes a long way, that's for sure. There's so much pouncing going on that my face is getting like a mini massage. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to one of these little sampler sizes. Um, by the way, you can get this sample size. Like, I think it comes like this, little sample size, because it says you can try a deluxe trial size for $10. There's a code for that, it's LYS Mini. Look how easily this just blends out, like done. Wow, um, it's like doing the work for me. Um, let's just go ahead and layer this for a minute and see if like we can conceal this if we just add more. If you don't have a lot of dark areas under your eyes or whatever, I think you would like this concealer because it doesn't crease up a whole lot. It's not super sticky and it still looks like skin. It doesn't feel super heavy. So I do like those aspects of it and I would definitely use it again. I just feel like, you know, sometimes you need a little bit more coverage. Okay, that helped with the vein a little bit, but you can still see it. 
Oh, but you know what? Before we actually powder, I wanted to go back over to our Prisma Glow and use the skin gloss right here. This foundation definitely has um, a dewy finish to it as well. So we'll see how it does when I put some powder down over top. It doesn't seem to be removing my foundation either, which is nice. This would be amazing. Like makeup artists are gonna love this for photo shoots. Like we're gonna need a way bigger one of those cause, okay. My face is definitely still too shiny for my taste. So we're gonna continue with some powder on top of everything. I'm gonna go off cam and do my brows cause I don't have any new like brow products. I'll be back in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Okay, so I did quite a bit actually. I left, I did my brows, I put some lashes on, um, and I finished up the lower lash. I just finished up the eyes in general. For lashes, I've got the Because Cruelty Free 3D Mink Lashes, just in case you're wondering. There's no name on this one. Not sure. Uh, they're nice and fluffy and cruelty free, love them. Let's go through the rest of Shayla's collection here. There are four items left to this collection. We've got two lip kits. We've got Slow Down. This is an ultra satin lip and this is more of a neutral nude. It comes with a much deeper lip liner. This is like a lot deeper than this. So you can ombre this. Then we've got this one, which is called speed up and it's way more pink. This is kind of interesting to me because the lip liner that is placed with this is super brown, whereas this is really pink. And then we have two blushes. One is, it's the same theme as the ultra satin lip. One is more of a natural kind of deep apricot-y kind of shade, which is what I'm gonna use today called Construct. This is Whistle While You Work, which is a very, very light pink. As you guys know, I put my highlight on before um, I do my blush. So that's what we're gonna do today. So we'll skip over to the highlighters. Moving back over to the Prisma Glow by Dominique Cosmetics and Ooh, that's really pretty. So yeah, I'm thinking that the pink haze one is kind of the only, maybe the only one that will work for me other than this one right now. I'm gonna try to go in with Fire Glow a little bit and we'll see how that works. And then we're gonna do, use Lunar Beauty on the other side. And I'm gonna place that right on the cheekbone. Damn. So as you can see from the front, there is a cast on this right here, so I couldn't actually wear this as a highlighter at the moment. Okay, so um, I'm not gonna go in and use this pink haze one today because it just doesn't match my makeup look, but the shades are really, really pretty. I'm loving that there is a cream in here because that is so great for if you just aren't wanting to wear like a lot of powder products and you wanna go a little more natural, um, love that. And these shades are really pretty that she picked. It's a good it's a good mixture. And I think, you know, there's something for everybody in here. And when I'm a little bit more tan, I can definitely wear some of these other ones, but this is really pretty. Moving over to Lunar Beauty, which is owned by Manny MUA. We've got this really cute packaging. Um, I was out of town, so I got these a little bit late, but I was seeing them on a story. I was like, oh my God, Gosh, the packaging is so cool. This is just so pretty. These are called Prism Powder and each of them is $26. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh my gosh, just look at that. Just look at it. This is um, Jupiter. Next up we have Mars, which is definitely more of a kind of pinkish tone. These look like they're really like finely milled, like they just are gonna melt into the skin. Then going more into the lighter shades, we have Venus. It's just kind of a really neutral, uh, normal highlight shade, I guess. Damn, the glow on these is just incredible. Next for the lightest shade, we have Mercury, and this is kind of a, a more yellowy um, pearlescent highlight. Describing things when you're hungover is really hard. Like I have a hard time describing like makeup shades and stuff anyways. And then when I'm hungover, it's like a whole different story. Wow. I don't even know what one to use today, frick. Okay, so I'm gonna dip into Venus. It's insane. Okay, a little goes a long way, damn. I didn't realize it was so 
like insane. Popping back over to the Shayla ColourPop collection, I'm gonna go in with Construct. This is a really nice shade. It's just really kind of natural, neutral. That's what I like for blush. And it's only $8. For lips, I'm gonna mix up, I'm gonna mix and match a little bit. I'm gonna take the lighter brown from the Speed Up collection and mix that with the Slow Down. This is the one that comes with the Slow Down. So that's quite a bit darker. And this is Speed Up. Now that I don't really understand. Feel the need to like blend this out a little bit. It's like straight up how I wore my lip liner in middle school. Let's be honest. Now going in with the Ultra Satin Lip. It's a really tiny little applicator. Like it's really tiny. So the lip liner and the Ultra Satin Lip actually are going really well together. So I take back what I said. I was a little concerned. It was like looking really dark, but once you blend it in together a little bit, it actually goes really well together. I love this lip. It's like a really nice chocolatey, like warm chocolate, um, chestnutty kind of shade. I really like the shade. It's beautiful. That brings us to the end of the video. So let's do a little recap. Um, so we started off with the Prisma Glow by Dominique Cosmetics. I think the packaging is really rad. I think that this is a really pretty combination of shades. These highlighters are slightly more chunky than the Lunar Beauty ones that we experienced later in the video. Um, I tend to gear more towards more finely milled highlights, but this is really smooth and nice too. I think maybe it's just this one that I'm talking about. If you can, I don't know if you can see close up how the, um, this one looks slightly more chunky in the glitter. So it's just basically that one, I guess, that's a little bit more chunky. I love the cream addition in this. I think that's really nice. I feel like I'm gonna be grabbing for that one a lot. I kinda want like a single that's like bigger than that. We dipped over into the Pure Cosmetics 4-in-1 uh, Love Your Selfie Longwear Foundation and Conceal. First impressions, I think that it looks really good. I actually was surprised. I was like, okay, another foundation, like everyone's been putting out foundations lately, but I like it. Packaging is really lightweight, which I love. And I think it's really interesting how they've incorporated a an applicator on the inside to use it as concealer as well. I, I think it works really well for concealing pimples and stuff when you really need that precise pinpoint of extra coverage. If you have oily skin, you might wanna get the sample size and test it out. It did have a very luminous finish, didn't really necessarily dry down, so it definitely wasn't a, isn't a matte foundation. I skipped over this, I forgot to mention this. This is the Hood Witch Crystallized Primerizer. I think this is really pretty. I might actually mix this in with a foundation and see how that goes. Just like added a little bit too much shine around my pores, making them look more obvious and larger. So it's beautiful, but I think you need to use it in a way that works for you and your skin type and like what, you know, your needs. Just you gotta know what, what you're looking for and what you're trying to hide. Then we had Shayla's collection. We had the two blushes. We had the eyeshadow palette, which we played with first. And then we had the lips. I was a little thrown off with the lips at first. I thought the, the liners were a little dark, but Shayla knows what she's doing. And after all, it ended up looking really nice. The eyeshadow palette is really pretty. I really like this. Um, this is a shade that I wouldn't normally grab for and use, so that's why I wanted to use it today. As you know, the only thing that gave me an issue was this one, but it was it has nothing to do with the the formulation of the eyeshadow. It was just how I chose to use it. I knew it was a little bit risky, but we did it anyway. I really liked that. The blush. So um, I think this is, you get a great amount of blush for like $8 from what I can see. I, I really like this shade. This shade for me, I would never purchase this, but that's just because I am pretty pale and I just don't really like like a pink cheek. But if you have a deeper skin tone, I think this would look really, really beautiful. So the, we've got the Lunar Beauty Highlight Moon Prism Powder. These are absolutely stunning. The packaging is really, really cool. These actually go really well together. I wonder if they knew that they were all gonna put out Prism Prisma um, <laughs> highlight. This was really wow. Like this was a wow one for me. I think that they 
go on so well a little goes a long way so i feel like this is going to last you a very long time if you decide to purchase these i thought the color selection for these was really cool it was you know um kind of all over the board something for everybody in there kind of just like the prisma glow palette i didn't dislike anything that i used today that's everything what did you guys think do you have your eye on any of these new products um i know some of you guys were talking to me about the pure foundation on twitter wanting to see a review on that so hopefully this was helpful i might do a full on review on that just by itself because I didn't even use the brush so it might be nice to actually do like a wear test and stuff with that so let me know if you're interested in that I can I can get that done thank you guys so much for watching and I'm sorry this video was a bit of a mess uh I you know why you know why so we'll just leave it at that um I'm never drinking again <laughs> I swear every time I say that like the net like 24 hours passes and I'm like that bottle of wine looks real nice right there so yeah, it, it never lasts. But thanks for watching guys and we will see you in the next video.